What's going on guys, Stefan here. Welcome to another video. I'm here with my girlfriend, Erin, and we are here to answer your questions. You guys asked us questions on Instagram and on YouTube, so we're gonna ask each other those questions, and hopefully by the time this video is over, you guys get to know us a little bit better. We're not gonna be able to get through all of them today, but I'm gonna do a part two in the future, so if you have any more questions, drop them down in the comment section below, and I'll get to them in a future video. But let's get started with the questions. All right, Erin, you're up first. Are you ready? Lucky me. A lot Let's of people, go. A lot of people ask this. They want to know how and when we met. All right. Well, we met at Temple University in college. I am actually a grade above him, so it was my sophomore year, his freshman year. One grade above, but two years older. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> we actually had a class together that fall semester and I was in there with another girl who was on the soccer team with me and we saw this kid walk in with a soccer backpack so we were like alright I guess he's on the team we've never seen him before so must be a freshman so us being the nice girls we were we we're like hey come sit with us little did we know it would lead to um, a six year romance <laughs> yeah so basically I didn't have any friends in the class and Aaron invited me to, uh, to sit next to her and it all started from there yeah and from then we started talking I mean I was already pretty close with a lot of the guys on the soccer team they were some of our best friends so obviously they were hanging out with them and things progressed and here we are now six years later here we are <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's a question we got for Stefan. It says, what was it like playing in England professionally? So a lot of you guys that have been following the channel know that I played for Southport FC in England for the 2018-19 season. Um, it was, I've been to England three times before. That was my third time. That was the longest time I've stayed. I was over there for about eight months and it was overall a great experience if I had to do it all over again I would it was a great opportunity um, some things I didn't like <laughs> England I'm sure you guys know the weather is terrible is my least favorite part of England by far the first few weeks I was there the summer was awesome but once the clouds came it was like the rain never stopped so overall great weather not so much two-part question for this one first part is for Aaron second part is for me for Erin, did you ever think of playing pro soccer? Why did you stop playing? Good question. Um, I'm gonna say when I was younger, I definitely thought about playing professional soccer. I think when we're kids, that's almost every little kid's dream who plays sport is to grow up and become a professional. As I got older, I think I became a little more realistic with my skills and just what I wanted. I went to college, I played at Temple in college and I loved every minute of it. I think there were two big reasons why I didn't want to go further. One, I knew going into college I was majoring in speech therapy. I had to do two years of grad school after that, and that's really where my mind was set. It wasn't playing soccer, it was getting this career that I knew would be stable and something that I love. And then also I think my body told me that it was time to stop playing, honestly. Playing four years Division One college soccer does wear and tear on your body, and I think my body was done. Fair. Yeah but I loved it. I loved every minute of playing. I would never take it back, but my journey has come to an end. <laughs> <laughs> so the second one for Steph. How do you directly get in contact with teams and agents like in USL and USL League One? So a little short story here. When I was in college, if you worked for a USL team in the front office or a coach, chances are you got four or five emails from me throughout those four years of college. I think every single year I reached out to teams, um, basically just through their websites. You could find coaches' emails, oh, that's, that's a little bit more rare finding the coaches' email, but the front office, all their emails are there. Basically what I did every year of college and after college when I was playing in Germany and in England to kind of get a foot in the door, I emailed all of the front office of every single team in the United States pretty much, USL, USL League One, um, MLS, Basically just sending the front office my CV, my videos, and asking if they could forward it along to the coaches. I got some responses back. I actually got some trials out of it, but most of the time teams just don't even bother. But teams do reply. Persistence. Yes. And as far as agents, I found my current agent and other agents I've worked with in the past on TransferMarket.com. Basically just looking at players in the market that I wanted to play in, so the United States looking at who represented them. Most of the time their email address is on that website. 
So I would do the same thing. I would just reach out to them. I would say where I played, how old I was, send them my CV and video and some responses back and some not, but obviously I found my agent that way. Next question is for Steph. It reads, where do you see yourself in the next five years? It's a really good question. A few people asked that kind of question and like what I'm gonna do after my professional career is done. That's something I think about a lot because I know this doesn't last forever. I'm 24 years old now, so five years from now I'm gonna be 29, pushing 30. And I think at that point, I really wanna have that next stage of my life figured out, transitioning from soccer into something else. I think I always wanna stay in the sport somehow. Um, I studied exercise and sports science in college. I love the training aspect of it. I love the coaching, I love the playing. I, I love everything about this life, but soccer only lasts for so long. But my future plans, I would love to have my own training facility, my own gym, something like that, something that I can call my own and kind of share my experiences and guide players through similar situations that I was in. If I were to chime in, you guys, that was a very good answer because this guy has a very hard time picturing anything that's more than a week from now. So yes. right now I know his focus is soccer and then I think you kind of just have to come with it as it goes. Yeah, I, I don't really think too far ahead in the future, at least I don't plan too far ahead in the future because I learned that you can't do that, you have to take it day by day because things could change just like that. But um, but my end goal I think is to is to share and, and train people through situations that I'm in right now to just pass down my experiences. I can't even ask this guy what he wants for dinner next week without him being like, well, we'll just go to the grocery store next week. We don't think about it now. Yeah, pretty much that. <laughs> Here's a question both of us can answer. How did you balance school, soccer, and a relationship for four years in college? Hmm, good question. I think it is a lot of work that you have to put in, obviously. I think for both of us, we knew that we had school and soccer, so we kind of had to be understanding of each other's schedules and that there are times you're gonna be busy, but at the end of the day, you know that you're putting each other first and just realizing that you gotta do what you gotta do to make the relationship work. We both grew up playing soccer, so I think we kind of knew the time and effort you have to put into it, and so we were way more understanding. Um, for me, when we were on the road, it was really important to get a lot of my schoolwork done then. Like anytime you're sitting on a plane, sitting on a bus, that's free time that you have to get your schoolwork done. What do you have to add? Yeah, so basically it was nice because we both pretty much had the same schedule. We were both Division One athletes and college students at the same time. So I know that you have lift three days a week. I know you have training five days a week. I know you travel on the weekend for games, travel during the week for games. Same thing with me. So it's, it's nice having somebody in the same situation as you to kind of work through it. And also to hold each other accountable and make sure, especially you with me, yes. making sure I'm getting my schoolwork done instead of just you know, putting <laughs> putting it off last minute just because I want to hang out with you. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there were times you kicked me out just so uh, just so I would do my work. Or I would pull his work up for him and be like, <laughs> all right, come on, let's answer this together. We got it. Yeah, Aaron definitely helped me through college. Yeah, and it was nice because we actually had games on different days. I think yours were. Yeah, we had we played like Tuesday, Saturday, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, we played Wednesday, Sunday, so we could kind of see each other's games too when they were home games or stream them online. Mm -hmm and that was nice that we weren't playing at the same time. Yeah, so we got to support each other throughout mm -hmm. all those years, which was awesome. Yeah. Did you consider playing in any other country besides England and the US? I did. Short answer is I was willing to play absolutely anywhere um, in search of that next opportunity. After college, I had some connections in Germany, which took me there. I wanted to stay in the US. Unfortunately, it didn't work out at that time. So I ended up going to Germany to play for a little bit and then um, in between that time, in between Germany and England, I got injured and especially during that time I was willing to go absolutely anywhere. I emailed teams literally all across the globe, all across the country um, and I got some interest from England and that's kind of what took me over there. But I was willing to go absolutely anywhere. But the, the end goal was always to come back and play in the United States and luckily I am here playing in the USL now. All right, Erin, did you have any interest in other sports during your youth? That I did. <laughs> Continue, elaborate. 
All right, Erin, did you have any interest in other sports during your youth? Yes. I definitely grew up in a sports family where we basically tried every single sport when we were younger. Realized what we liked, what we didn't like. I have a brother and a sister. They grew up playing sports as well. My mom was an athlete. My dad was an athlete. So when I was younger, the sports that I really enjoyed and got into were soccer, obviously. Swimming was a big one for me and basketball were the three that I mostly played. Um, I think I tried out just about everything, t-ball, softball, field hockey. My mom tells me stories of how I would purposely not bring my cleats to field hockey because I hated it so much <laughs> in like second grade and she would go to any parent and be like, do you have cleats for this girl? <laughs> She'd want to kill me, but I didn't want to play. But my mom's rule always was, you signed up for the season, you finished the season. That's it, you didn't have to play ever again, but if you signed up, you played that season. I'll answer this question too. <laughs> I started playing soccer when I was four years old, I think. Neither of my parents ever played. They were always athletes, but never soccer. But as soon as I started playing, I fell in love with it. I played baseball also when I was younger until I was about nine years old when I, uh, when my mother dragged me out of the house because I didn't want to go to practice and made me tell the coach that I didn't want to play anymore. <laughs> so I quit baseball at nine. I played one game of basketball before I stopped playing that as well. It just wasn't as much fun as soccer. So um, I'm not quite the athlete that Aaron was, but, uh, but yeah, that's my short experience in other sports. All right, guys, that's about it for now. We appreciate you submitting those questions. We had fun doing this and we hope that gave you a little bit of an insight into our lives. Yes, and like I said before, I'm going to be doing a Q&A on my own, so ask more questions down below. I have some saved up from before that were very good. We didn't get to go through all of them, but thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for next episode, and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys then. Peace. Peace.